Hello, I'm contemporary fiction writer Tina Foss here, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of my new novella. It's titled Deep Restricted Chester Flowers. This is going to be the first time I'm going to see this book, so it's pretty exciting. Okay. I will show you the front as I see it. Oh, wow. It looks really good. Let me take a peek myself. Very nice. I have a picture of flowers on here. It goes along with what's in this book, and I think that it's perfect for a book cover for it. And here's the back. Some dust on it from the envelope. Oh yeah, looks really good. There's the back. Okay, let's see what the interior looks like. Yeah, it looks really good. It's a little peek in it. There's some of the interior of it. Margins came out really good. I really like the uh, cream pages that I pick out now. I think that it's easier on the eyes and it just looks a little nicer. And I think also it goes along with the colors of the books. You know, I have yellow and I picked yellow and orange because I figured it brings out some of the orange in the book and some of the yellow. So I thought that was a good color um, tones for this book. Okay, I will read the back of the book, the blurb. Luke ripped the blanket off me. Jump in the tub now. We're going grocery shopping. Harry has scheduled an engagement party for us. He's also having a 4th of July party complete with fireworks on his side of the yard. He's letting us borrow card tables and chairs from the board of directors. The party starts at three at the community pool. But is there a bathing load rule at Daffodil Village? What about a guest limit at a duplex? So how many did Harry invite? Anita might have an uninvited guest of her own at the cookout, possibly breaking a peace ordinance rule. Then Harry's friend shows up and Colleen wants to know what he's doing there. She could be in for a big surprise when Harry recommends this friend to do up her flowers for the wedding. Okay, there's what I read right there. That's the book blurb. This is a little piece from the book, like a little uh, excerpt from the book. And that's what's on the back. And I will show you the author photo, which I always do for these videos. <laughs> there's the other photo, so there we go. So yeah, and uh, there's the front. Fine. The back and back to the front again. And this book is available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. So this is book three in the Deed Restricted series. Um, they're basically they're standalone books, so you can read this one first if you really want to and catch up with the other ones, or you could just read this one. It's all up to you. I try to make them standalones so that. Just in case you want to read one book or any order you want to read them in, um, that's what you can do. Okay, bye now.